There are many reasons why safety is important. Here are just a few. Where safety is concerned, nothing can take the place of knowledge. Knowing yourself, the machine, and the job site is the best way to avoid costly and potentially deadly accidents. In addition to understanding proper machine operation, you must be able to recognize situations which could lead to an accident, injuring yourself or someone working with you. This presentation discusses basic safety rules and instructions associated with the operation of case loader backhoes. Although it contains many valuable safety guidelines, it should not be treated as the only source for loader backhoe safety information. The machine operator's manual is your primary guide for safe operation. Another excellent source is the loader backhoe safety manual produced by the Equipment Manufacturers Institute. Also, many attachments have a separate manual. You will see this safety alert symbol throughout this presentation, as well as in various manuals and on machine safety signs. It identifies important safety messages. When you see it, be alert to the possibility of serious injury or death. Always follow the instructions in the safety message. A good safety program starts with a thorough understanding of the loader backhoe you will be operating. It is essential that you know the purpose of all controls, gauges, and indicators, as well as speed range, steering characteristics, turning radius, and operating clearances. Each workday should begin with a visual inspection of the machine. Look for broken, worn, damaged, or missing parts. Check the tires for cuts or bulges. Inspect the hydraulic system for leaks. Have repairs made as necessary before operating. Pay special attention to the safety equipment. The cab is the most obvious safety feature. The structure provides falling object protection, or FOPS, and rollover protection, or ROPS. The FOPS and ROPS should never be removed or modified. Safety equipment includes seat belts, lights, horn, guards or shields, mirrors, and backup alarm. Do not wear loose-fitting clothing or anything else that may catch on controls or in moving parts. Job conditions may require you to wear other protective clothing and or personal safety devices. You may need a hard hat, safety shoes, safety glasses, goggles or a face shield, heavy gloves, hearing protection, reflective clothing, wet weather gear, or a respirator or filter mask. When getting on the loader backhoe, face the machine. Use the grab handles and steps, maintaining a three-point contact at all times. Never use the steering wheel or control levers as a handhold. Adjust the seat and always fasten the seat belt or operator restraint. Adjust for snugness across your hips. Take time to read any safety signs and instructional decals on the cab, on other areas of the loader backhoe, and on any attachments. This information is important and will help you avoid situations which could result in serious injury or death. Before starting the machine, make sure the parking brake is engaged and that all controls are in the neutral or park position. Also, make certain the area is clear of all bystanders. Then, start the machine following the instructions in the manufacturer's manual. Never attempt to start the engine unless you are sitting in the operator's seat with the seat belt fastened. Never attempt to start the engine by shorting across the starter terminals. The machine may start in gear and could move unexpectedly, causing injury or death to anyone on the machine or in its path. Once the engine is running, test the engine speed control. Operate each equipment control lever to make sure all are functioning correctly. Operate the transmission control to ensure correct operation in forward, neutral, and reverse. Check the parking brakes and service brake according to the manufacturer's manual. Test the steering, right and left, while moving slowly. If any problems are encountered, do not continue to operate the machine. Have the machine repaired as required. When traveling on a job site, take it slow and easy, so you have complete control of the loader backhoe at all times. Yield the right of way to loaded machines, and maintain a safe distance from all machines. Carry the bucket low for maximum stability and visibility, but make sure there is adequate ground clearance to avoid fixed objects like manhole covers. 
and make sure the backhoe is in the transport lock position. Avoid rough terrain or unstable surfaces if possible. Avoid traveling across steep slopes. Proceed straight up or straight down the slope. When traveling downhill, stay in gear. Use the same gear range for traveling down a grade as you would for traveling up the grade. When raising a load, keep the bucket level to prevent spilling over the back of the bucket. Keep the work area as level as possible. Don't spin the tires. Use the loader bucket to back drag occasionally to maintain a smooth working surface. Never carry riders or use the bucket for a work platform. A loader backhoe is strictly a one-person machine. Always look around before backing up or swinging an attachment. Make sure that everyone is in the clear. Never lift, move, or swing a load over anyone. And never allow anyone to reach under or stand under raised lift arms. Use extreme caution when working along the top of a bank or slope. Drive slowly and keep away from the edge. It could collapse or a slide could occur. When working at the base of a bank or overhang, be alert for such dangers as rock or earth slides or a cave-in. Before operating the backhoe, make sure the area is clear of all persons. Make sure the work site is reasonably level and sufficiently firm and stable to support the machine as it works. Engage the parking brake. Lower the front mounted equipment to the ground. Be sure to shift the transmission controls to neutral. Then lower the stabilizers and level the machine as much as possible. Always follow the manufacturer's recommendations before you operate the backhoe. Several different control lever configurations exist. Be familiar with the machine you are operating. Here are a few safety guidelines that apply to all machines. Never operate the controls from the ground. Never enter or allow anyone else to enter the backhoe swing pivot area. Also, know the pinch points and rotating parts on the machine and loader. Never let anyone in or near the articulation joint or backhoe swing pivot area. The swinging boom could crush and cause serious injury or death. Before you dig, make certain you know the location of any buried gas lines, water lines and cables in your work area. If you are unsure, call the diggers hotline in your area. Use extreme caution near overhead power lines. Follow all local, state and federal OSHA regulations. Check clearances on any overhead lines. If possible, have power disconnected. Otherwise, use a signal person for guidance. Never dig under the machine or the stabilizers. This could cause a cave-in and the machine could fall into the excavation. Another cause of cave-ins is spoil being dropped too close to the trench. Drop spoil well away from the excavation. If you are loading a truck, be sure the driver is in the cab, protected by a canopy or away from the area. Still, never swing the bucket over the truck cab. If you must operate on a slope, swing the bucket uphill whenever possible to avoid tipping. If downhill dumping is necessary, work slowly and smoothly. Use extreme caution, swinging only as far as required to dump the bucket. Many jobs require lifting loads. Check the manufacturer's manual for the machine's lifting capacity and stay within those limits. Position the machine so that all lowering takes place over the back end. The loader bucket and stabilizer should always be lowered to the ground before lifting. Place pads or timbers under the stabilizers if the ground is soft. Be sure the load is properly balanced and move slowly so it does not sway or swing around. Lift the load only as high as necessary to avoid obstacles. Never allow anyone beneath a suspended load. 
and don't leave a load hanging. Lower it to a stable surface as soon as possible. When your work is completed, it is important to safely park and shut down the machine. Select a site on level ground whenever possible. Using the service brake, stop the machine. Lower all attachments to the ground. Shift all controls to neutral or park, locking them if so equipped. Engage the parking brake. Idle the machine for a short cool down period. Stop the engine, remove the key. Cycle all hydraulic controls. If you must park on a slope or incline, position the machine at right angles to the slope. Engage the parking brake before lowering the attachments to the ground, then block the wheels. To safely exit the loader backhoe, always maintain a three-point contact with the steps and handholds facing the machine. You should not perform any work on the machine unless you are authorized and qualified to do so. However, routine maintenance such as checking fluid levels and inspecting hydraulic lines and tires should be done by the operator daily. If the lift arms must be left in a raised position for service work, use the cylinder rod support strut. Place the controls in neutral and block the wheels. You should remove only guards or covers that provide access. Always reinstall them before leaving the machine. Make certain all guards, screens or panels and safety signs are reinstalled on the machine as recommended by the manufacturer. When transporting a machine by truck or trailer, refer to the procedures outlined in the manufacturer's manual. However, some precautions are applicable to all machines. Load and unload on a level surface. Block the transport vehicle. Use ramps of adequate size and strength. Place them at a low angle, at the proper height. Chain and block the machine securely, including any attachments and parts not installed on the machine. Secure any attachments, both laterally and longitudinally. Note the combined width and height of the loader backhoe and the transport. This will allow you to avoid overhead and narrow obstructions. When driving over the road on public roads, make sure any clearance flags, all lights and warning signs are in place and visible. Place the loader bucket, backhoe, and stabilizers in the transport position. Observe all speed and traffic control signs. And finally, obey all local traffic regulations. For example, you may be required to have an escort. Becoming a proficient case loader backhoe operator requires knowledge, skill, and good judgment. Viewing this presentation is just one of the ways to work toward those goals. It is impossible to cover every situation you could encounter on the job, but by following good safety practices and using good judgment, you will protect yourself and those around you. Doing your job well, and doing it safely, is the mark of a professional.